How to make a realistic t-shirt mock-up in Adobe Photoshop. Hey guys, Kerry Hawkins here with another VectorMade.com tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a realistic looking t-shirt proof in just a couple minutes. So let me show you kind of what I normally end up doing. And maybe this is what you normally end up doing too. Uh, it's just kind of grabbing your graphic and slapping it on an image that you find online of available colors for a shirt and just calling that good. So if I zoom in here, you see it's just the graphic on the shirt, nothing fancy. And of course that's totally okay. In this instance, you know, we, we had several 12, it looks like, um, different color options we were going for and even some different color options within this logo design that they liked. So for the sake of saving time, I did everything very quickly here in Illustrator. However, if you wanted to make something that looked more photorealistic and have some of the highlights and shadows of a shirt design, you know, a realistic shirt, then this is the way to do it. So the best thing is to grab an image of a shirt that's got some of these like highlights and shadows already in it because that's going to help you sell the realism. So this image right here is perfect. It's got a little bit of like a fold here and then a little mini one in the middle and a big fold here. And so all this is going to show up in our logo graphic when we place it in here. So first go file and place, you can do linked or embedded. Um, I'm going to grab the one that I was using on their graphics here. Let's see. And the, what you want to do is make sure this is like a, a PNG with transparent background or a PDF or an AI file, uh, an EPS file, anything that's transparent works best. And then you'll just size your artwork accordingly. Come over here to your layers and right click on the background and then click duplicate layer. Say, okay, drag that above. Go up here to where it says normal. This is the transparency of this layer that you just created and select hard light. Then right click it and hit create clipping mask. So it will only apply to your logo file and will not apply to the background. Then come up here to image adjustments, desaturate, shift control U is a hot key for that. Um, then we want to go layer, new adjustment layer, curves. And with curves on a white shirt, what you're usually gonna wanna do is grab somewhere in the middle with your, with your mouse, you'll click and you'll create a point and then you can drag this around so you usually want to drag it around over here somewhere. And really what I need to do first is right click on that curves and hit create clipping mask so that it again only applies to this right here. And we're not applying it to the background, but come back up here to the point that we created and kind of click and drag this around until you find a good uh, sweet spot here where you've got decent amount of highlights and shadows. So if I, if I click on these eyeballs here and get rid of that, you can see there's the before and here's the after. And so that after just looks way more realistic. You've got this realistic looking lighting that's applying to your graphic on the shirt, which is how it's gonna look in the real world. So when we do that previous way of, of, of doing it that I showed you in my Illustrator file, this doesn't give you any highlights or shadows. So it's not as realistic looking. It's good enough for a quick proof, but it's maybe not as good if you've got the time. Come on in here, spend a couple minutes and create this kind of realistic looking proof. Might help sell your graphics to your customer a little better. So guys, that's the tutorial. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.